Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're wa <laughs> <laughs> Beep. Hey. <laughs> Take two. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're watching season two, episode five and six of The Boys. This show is very strange, but also very good. And well, mostly the last episode was very strange because Homelander did that that stuff. Yeah, where he killed Doppelganger. But he, you know, he's doing that weird stuff with himself almost. But yeah. It's getting interesting. <laughs> yeah, this show is diabolical, Mike. Yeah, it is diabolical, Mike. Diabolical. Uh, this show is an absolute treat, man. I'm so glad that you guys turned us on to it. We are basically almost done with season two, so. I know. That's crazy. It's flown mess. by pretty much. For sure. All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's go. She just looks so mean. Ruby! Ruby! You already know this is fake. <laughs> yeah. I'm here! I'm here! <laughs> Looks like you saved me, Red. No, you saved us. <laughs> but I'm no hero. You are a hero. In lots of ways. What do you mean? You're not afraid to live your life. To be who you really are. <laughs> Mia, I'm afraid to... To show the world who I am. So who are you, Maeve? I'm gay. <laughs> they had to add that part. <laughs> like at a crucial moment. Yeah. You have to keep moving. That was like what the whole thing was about. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Gang, let's check that around. All because Homelander today. just outed her on that random Good job, thing. People. Hey Marty, play that back, please. You enjoying this? Yeah. Joss rewrite really sings, huh? <laughs> if I promise to never see her again, will you stop? But Maeve. You're in love. Damn, that's jacked up. Do He's doing all that her. Can I have a word, sir, please? Look at these strong female lesbians. Hmm? I'm inspired. Sir, please, it's urgent. <laughs> Terrific. Is that all we had to do? Oh, he killed someone else. So what, they're all starving, but one of them's got a cell phone? You know, I really wish you had <laughs> cleared this with me before you went over there. I saw a chance for an easy win, and I took it. There's been some, some blowback. Blowback. Sorry, fine, fine, fine. Why did he land and go, So Ooh. at a, down a, a point, point and a half, two? You always said trash talk. <clears throat> no, nine and a half. Nine and a half? <laughs> what, the, the, oh my God, they're, they're, pro they're protesting me. Why didn't you? Say something. God damn it. She tried. It's like kill that asshole for them. Well, PR is drafting a response as we speak. Acknowledgement, apology, no, action. No. Apology? No. You schedule a press conference and I'll clean it up myself. Uh, well, Mr. Edgar and legal, we'd like your official position to be no comment at this time. Please, no press. Until the crisis team is an actionable strategy. He's not going to like that. Okay. Yeah, no way. Bad day? Aw, oh, man. I'm with you, but you know, there's a way to handle it. I do not need your f***ing help. Well, I'm here when you want me. But in reality, though, he would be so controversial. Yeah. Like, no matter what he does. Billy Butcher. Oh, that ain't Billy. Oh, yeah, it is. This is the dump. Look, she done got him smoking again. And she left him. It's kind of his fault, though. He's somewhere with a live singer like that. That's like the blade place. Hey, could you could y'all see me in that spot? <laughs> yeah. You think I'd be there? Yeah, skateboarding or something. I don't skateboard. Oh, he just went to start some stuff. Look, he started he's starting a mosh pit. And that guy's probably a pacifist. Oh. <laughs> like, what was the point of that? He just wanted to get beat on. The girl was like, <laughs> "Like what the heck? You gonna need more than peas? You gonna need peas and carrots?" He is Homelander peas. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? They're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! What can do we? Hello, hello, Yui. Hey, hey, hi, hi. I just thought you should know. Liberty, that soup that Rainer was looking into, turns out it's Stormfront. Bot changed your name, they've been moving around like a Catholic priest. Right. <laughs> um, she probably murdered Rainer. 
and he's trying to figure out why. Well, as long as Starlight's on the job, we're sorted then, yeah? I'm not mad, you know? What you mean? Yes, you are leaving us holding the bag on the shit show, but I want you to know that I, I get it. It's, uh, Becca. I do the same thing. I'm not mad. Wouldn't matter if you were. Uh, how is she? Lovelier than the day I met her. Where are you? <laughs> Off grid. Argentina, maybe. Early retirement. Butcher, get a second bye. <laughs> Butcher needs a hug. Know, we've been through some shit together. You were always like my canary, I suppose. Oh. Thank you. That's not sweet. Goodbye. Yeah, Huey. it is. Well, from yeah. Huey's perspective, it's oh. not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting on him to drop dead. Sim card on smash. Feet, Take me home to Ladderbrock. What are you watching? <laughs> you called eat my dick. <laughs> okay. Why was he watching that? Have you seen French here, Kamiko? No, no, not for a while. Why? Uh, listen, I just got off the phone with Butcher, and I think something might be wrong. Like, really, really wrong. What would make you think that? He was nice and called me his canary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, something's up. Tell me everything he said. Kamiko. That's called stalking, Frenchie. Agent Pearson, sir. <coughs> Bro, I'm dead. Oh, you're a sex Is this to be like Colson? Hey, yeah. Cruz, I thought we lost you. Stop by with a little help from the friends. <laughs> so, good news or bad? Yeah, I'd say it's good news. And now the CG mutants approach! And there's the bad news. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way we can restore the grid if we don't get that flash drive to the tower. But how are you gonna get through all of them? Don't worry. Girls get it done. <laughs> And cut a rehearsal. No one move. No one move. No one move. Guys, that was like on Endgame where all the girls get together yeah. when they're beating up Thanos. <laughs> yeah. like, Come on, ladies. <laughs> Let's go, girls. That was too real. I love that. We didn't mention that when we were watching the reaction, but we saw it. I'm yeah, we did. But can you just take a step? <laughs> it did happen. Keep going closer. Can you mark her closer to Stormfront? Let's mark her, please. And let's just pretend oh, like you like her. Okay. <laughs> if I have to. Okay. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Let's try one for that. All right, good. You should have shot that. I mean, clearly you like me. You've been eye me like a lovesick stand girl all day. Why is that? I don't know. I think that you're a good actor. I feel like a freaking fembot up there. <laughs> you know? <laughs> She's walked off. Everybody, can we please <laughs> because you don't stand want to hear by the wall? It's turning now to superhero news. The Deep surprised everybody last week when he married an anthropology. <laughs> Billy. Hello, Judy. Who's this? My nephew. I should have known from her accent that she was related to Billy. I'm surprised she wasn't like, if it isn't Billy, sake, Billy, Butcher. <laughs> Diabolical. Diabolical Butcher. Your mom and dad are flying over, you know. Your mom's worried to death about you. You tell them no. It'd be a waste of a perfectly good plane ticket. Your father's quite ill. Cancer's spreading fast. I ain't seen him. And where's me boy? Is it his dog? Yeah, it's gotta be. Oh. Hey, Tara. That would be his dog. You little rascal, eh? Hey? <laughs> I love it. His name is Terror. He likes Peppa Pig or whoever the hell that is. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god, please nothing bad happened to him. This ain't John Wick. This is the boys. Yeah, but this is the best character now. I used to think that he and me and Becky were grown together. Turns out she don't. Hope you yes. find your purpose, Billy. There he is. There's my guy. Uh, are you ready, huh? You ready to push? Can see you today? Yeah. That's basically what I wanted to talk to you about. Great. I did yeah. a little bit of a rewrite and I want you to take a look. A lot of work. Yeah. I. <laughs> I just felt like the dialogue was a little off. Mm. Would never say it. You definitely just don't need that giant expo dump at the end. Your big farewell speech. I think it's better if we just leave it open-ended. You know what I mean? Them out, uh, huh? Where we can just play it in <laughs> yeah. looks and just... Yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously, I went and told him, but... Maybe make it more of a question. Like, is A-Train really leaving the 7? Yeah. I know. forgot <laughs> about that, actually. You don't know. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go ahead and do the scene as scripted. <laughs> Thank you for putting all this thought into... I'm not doing that. <laughs> Lady just painting right there. <laughs> Not doing this shitty scene. Well, you're probably under contract. That is way above my pay grade. Bring that up with Ashley. So go talk to Ashley, AKA she takes direction from Dude, Homelander. You look so happy. I hardly <laughs> recognize you. Katie, I'm in love. <laughs> An extraordinary woman. Now I'm blessed to call my wife. <laughs> well, let's address the elephant in the room, shall we? You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. People grow. Oh, is, if he's getting a character the change that he writes with the wife. Me, I mean, you would know what a beautiful soul he has. Well, she's only saying that because I make a breakfast in bed. Oh, <laughs> French <laughs> toast. <laughs> <laughs> she's so, Never like, Amish looking or something. <laughs> well, yeah, he couldn't pick the one he wanted to remember. Alexander Gimelton never was a Puerto American. Can we help you? I'm just a girl. Show her a girl. 
шлюх не в себе, не нормально. Пиздец! Oh my god! Фрэнчик сидит all that and he's still chasing her. I'll be scared. Ой, Билли! You should have told me you were bringing company. Ой, who's this one remind you of? The boy. Is he the spittin' of Lenny? Lenny? No. So Billy knows he's a spittin' of Lenny. Thought you were retiring Argentina, right? I am. What you doing here? Well, Huey heard a dog toy on the phone. And I know you keep terror at your aunt, so... Brilliant as ever. Time to go. Come help us with Stormfront. Came all this way for that, did you? We came because we're worried. Your sense tingling, is it? <laughs> Don't you worry. Isn't your aunt in the room? <laughs> Where's Becca, man? She's heard worse. Becca? What's he talking about? Waiting for me at the Hampton Inn. Time to piss off. We're not going anywhere. Just so you know, that's Tara's girlfriend. What? <laughs> it's pink. <laughs> Yeah, he's touching it and he, the thing humps it all day. Who do you think taught Billy to talk like that? <laughs> His aunt. Right. <gasps> Is that Black Noir? Absolutely. How do you say it? Black Noir? Yeah. That's a good job. You say it. Black Noir's here. Black Noir. He said Black Noir. What? One us. We were cautious. It's not you. It's me. He must have tracked me from Becker's. Hey, what's this all about? I'd be relieved he took the blame for it. Becker's not with me. You couldn't get her out? She didn't want out. Oof. I'll explain everything. But right now, we're in a little bit of trouble. I'm sorry, Judy, I shouldn't have come. Maybe we can make a run for it. Just get to the car. Uh, he moves faster than a car. But if he wants to kill us, we'll have to do it with an audience. They called the uh, fire department. <laughs> oh, I thought they were reporting a strange suspect on the roof. Nice one, I mean. Let's hope they stay a while. Ma'am, do you have any nails, ball bearings, electrical wiring, pressurized aerosol products? I need a can about this big. I just realized Mother's Milk's the brains. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was Frenchie the whole time. Frenchie brings Mom? the supplies. Yeah. Annie. I'll type. What are you doing here? I I'm in town. I've been texting you for days. I wasn't trying to ambush you, I promise. Did you get any of the Vietnamese crepes? Because they're dope. No, no, no. I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> Mom, this isn't a great time. I wanted to see you, sweetheart. <laughs> Donna, can I tell her? Tell me what? Your mom is so sorry about the Compound V, and she understands that keeping that a secret really hurt your relationship. Why? you talking to a stranger about <laughs> our relationship? She's not a stranger. She's your teammate. <laughs> Is that what you think, Mom? <clears throat> Annie, well, Starlight like told her that in the beginning. Yeah. I'm hoping that you'll, that you'll forgive me. Look. Everyone is upset about Compound V. I mean, someone was so upset they leaked it to the press. Can you imagine how angry that person is? Whoever they are? Oh, does she know it was her? <laughs> That's why she said that. If it was me, I'd be grateful to have a mom like Donna. Hey, please. Do you need someone to drive you back to your hotel? The mom's so annoying, okay, though, because now, she only cares about making herself mate, feel better. Guys, She's not listening at all. Empress questions Karen. of identity rock her to her core until she meets Elena. The connection is immediate. She's gay. And it's okay. She's more than just a superhero now. She is a symbol. Representation matters. She's hashtag brave Maeve. Mm. Oh my god. We're recommending a multi guest spot for is really doing that it to gets better PA. Grand Marshals at the New York and Chicago Pride because you are two proud lesbians. You know Mavis Bye, right? Yeah, you know what? I just feel like lesbian is a bit of an easier sell, but more cut and dry. Now, for Elena, why am I part of the show? We are going with a polished, <laughs> tailored look. Oh, that's the Clinton. <sighs> that looks that's like the Hillary. Menswear. A few feminine women in a relationship sends a problematic message. Let's get one thing straight. I have no interest in being in a public relationship. Oh, you will be compensated. I am not for sale. <laughs> really? You're not going to say anything. <laughs> you can't really. Does Homelander right? I'll fix this. Yeah. Elena, <laughs> Elena, wait. If they want a lesbian Ken doll, they can find someone else. I'm gonna cash in my vacation days and go stay with my sister. No, you can't do that. Why? I'm not under contract. 
This is Homelander. There is nowhere you can go that he won't find you. Please. I he can't really protect that crazy. you if you leave. What are we gonna do? We're gonna take that down. <clears throat> Let's, Let's go. go. I'm down. Trust me? Yeah. A million percent. Yeah, this Homelander situation is gonna come to a head on multiple fronts. Is this right? I love that dog. I really do. I love just how it looks. He was like Mushu. Yeah. What's going on? That uh, ninja is here for me, isn't he? Yeah, but you can't go out there. He'll kill you. Expecting a happy ending, will we? Well, I'm sorry, Huey. It ain't that kind of massage parlor. <laughs> I've been busy for a little what while. What the heck? <laughs> Give you lot a chance to leg it. I'm knackered. He's knackered. I could use a little lie down. I can't believe Robert Kraft went to one of those. A what? happy ending massage parlor. What, am I supposed to be impressed by this blaze of glory jerk-off shit? Guess not. You don't think I thought about cashing it in after Robin? Because I do, still, a lot, but I don't. And the thing that kills me is that your wife is alive. She just doesn't want you, that's all. Say that again. So you don't have shit. Welcome to the f club. The boys club. What do, what Who the f asked you to come here? I don't need your help. You're so scared of being alone. First you let you under Robin, then Starlight, and now me. I ain't interested. <laughs> Get out of the way. That's your canary. Don't make me move you. can move him. Uh-oh. Good luck with me. Wasn't that sweet? That was sweet. They're just like so mean to each other though. <laughs> what is going on here? Why is he just following her? Making sure she don't do something crazy? Well, she already has. <laughs> oh. Well, they deserved it. There's Cherry. Here's Bastille. She wanted the job. You have her doing hits. The Albanians have her doing hits. I'm just a girl getting 10%. But I told she is no kidding. She can make her own choices. How is this stuff in stone front? I know you blame yourself for your brother. I know the rage you feel, but this, this is not the way. This is poison for your soul. I know. Yeah, it was personal. She, she peeled faces. I know. Oh. Come with me, mon coeur. I don't understand what you're saying because you won't teach me. Fuck you. Dang, she could easily kill him too. Go be a monster. Mm. Remember when you were young and the world was full of possibilities? Before all the mistakes, heartbreaks, I used to be angry, insecure, <laughs> and unsure. But thanks to the Church of the Collective, I now know the kind of man I want isn't to that be. The, isn't that like Tom kind Cruise? Of man the thing calls he's out in? in Probably, yeah. Hey, dude, that's not cool. Come on, guys, knock it off. You're talking about kind of man who sees Something the potential like that. in all of us. So join us at the Church of the Collective. It's a bunch of bullshit. Didn't used to be. Church used to mean something. Oh, what are you, a member? I was. Long time ago. Used Ooh. to be pure. That might not be good. And then they just started letting all kinds of people in, you know? I don't know. So why don't you tell me? Well, I think you do know. Some people are quality and others are garbage. I heard they're retiring you. <laughs> So unfair. You have a problem? Of course not. Why would you say that? <laughs> Can I have a word? Please? Adam tells me you don't want to do the scene. Can't be a part of something I don't believe in. Look, I know it's not easy losing a job. Guy with elephantitis. But I got through it. And so we... What in the heck was yeah, that? Yeah, but I'm still making it happen. Let me just talk to Homelander. We both know that's not a good idea. I'm sorry. Saying the lines. Okay. This can go one of two ways. One, you leave the seven with your dignity and your severance package intact. Or two, you get fired for breaching your morality clause by shooting up compound V and giving yourself a heart attack. Ooh. It's your choice. He must have to say some really annoying things or something. <laughs> well, they're basically like, you know, the truth is, oh, here we go. I'm running my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time that I stay put for a while. It's time I went home. I know this is dawn of the seven. <laughs> Sunset on Atrium. <laughs> it's been a good run. Cut! <laughs> a lot of running. Off. That was awesome. Awesome. That hey, wasn't buddy. even home <laughs> Fucking gold. <laughs> buddy, look. I'm ready to move on, but how do you feel? You want another one? Just let me know. Who was the guy who was the extra? No, I'm going to go ahead and move I mean, on. All right, check it. Moving on. Tiffany, we need you over at MoCap. <laughs> After Homelander's war crime, how can I stay quiet and still look my daughter in the eyes? I can't. I know you can't. The House Judiciary can't either. We are going to hold hearings on Fort and Compound V. Hey, everyone. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Home 
I went there straight up, pulled up, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> this is his own protest. Didn't you love that little walk like an Egyptian dance you did online? I loved it. Everyone get the f out. Get the f out. <laughs> She's I changed. know that some of you are a little upset by that video online of me stopping the terrorists. I'm upset too. Nobody wants innocent people to get hurt, but sadly, these things just happen. Wait, this happened now, before? How many times? Well, no, hold, hold on, guys. My point is, we all have the same goals. Keep our country safe. So American lives are the only ones worth protecting? Of course not. <laughs> But if you've served with our amazing soldiers like I have, you would know that freedom comes at a price. You don't speak for us. <laughs> what was he gonna say? Right, everyone just calm down. Matter. Calm gonna... down. Let your hearts get in your hands. You don't speak for us. Oh my gosh. Please don't use your eyes. Please don't do it. <sighs> Wait for He's real? fantasizing. Uh, he has yeah. to be fantasizing. No, you didn't, Homelander. He's like he's about to cry. Love you, guys. Love you guys. Dang, she's losing her hair. Oh, he's still on the. <laughs> they didn't see him. Hell no. They should have left time. the house already. Right, lad. To the taffy room. This is bollocks. This is the taffy room? That's what I was thinking. An affordable alternative to privatized healthcare. <laughs> what? She's a dealer. A drug dealer. Oh, I thought she was running a health clinic down there. <laughs> you still think he's like a human? Well. Yeah, if you're jockeying yeah, Phoenix on the Joker. I mean, how would you handle that? Imagine if they asked you, you to go do all this crazy stuff. And then, he's you know. just a kid. 17 years old, you don't gotta look him in the face. Look, no one's ever achieved anything without sacrifice. The kid's a hero. Think of it like that. Right. A hero. That's Iceman. Come in! <laughs> Where'd you get all these? This is just the first batch. I'll have Logan punch up the fear. Logan? My meme queen. When you see it on your uncle's Facebook page, then you know it's working. Your uncle's hmm. Facebook page? <laughs> That's hilarious. The people who make movies are mad because people can be more influenced by memes than movies now. Sorry to pause it again. That's why they keep like shitting on memes because like when people make movies and TV show, like they're trying to set the narrative, right? Like they want you to think how they want you to think. That's why they leave all this subliminal stuff. And so they're railing against memes because you can do more damage to someone with a meme than you can making a whole documentary about them. Right. Who's got time to watch a documentary? Right, right. Everyone can just glance at a meme. True. You can make someone look stupid with the right meme, like for real. Yeah, you, you really can. And so they're playing it up like with the only people who like are influenced by memes is like your dumb uncle. <laughs> I mean, that's obviously not true, but that's just what they're saying. Can I ask you something? Who's Lenny? You said I look like him? Billy wouldn't want me to say. Billy. <laughs> Lenny's his little brother. Oh. I was thinking that. But you... has a brother? Had. Yeah. Skinny, nervous little bugger. Like you. Fourth grade. Little wanker named Dorian Savory. Breaks Lenny's nose. Billy goes to work on him. Was bringing the seesaw down on Dorian's noggin. Wham. Wham. <laughs> Probably gonna top him. Kids, teachers trying to drag Billy away, but no good, not gonna happen. Dorian's a goner. And then Lenny steps in and leads Billy away. Easy, quiet as a lamb. That was Lenny. He had a way of making Billy not be- A wanker. Well, you know. So angry. Billy. I think Billy needs someone like that, you know? That's kind of sweet. He sees Huey as his little brother. He just he doesn't want to say anything. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God rest his soul. What happened? Great, we'll never know. Just tearing her house up. Oh. oh. Hey man, come hey, on! I gotta get out. out. What the heck? Outside door. Roger. Get him out of here. Wait, wait, wait! What are you doing? Where are you? So you want to take me on, do you? Oh, come on then. Oh, he's going to have it. <coughs> no, no, no. Oh, Who is that? Jim, Mother's milk. I'm the one you want. Come in. That's not going to work. 
what works on them? No, I can't. Not the doggy. You kill him. You can kiss your career goodbye. I got photos of what's dirty little secret. Homelander's son. Now you lay one finger on any of us. You brought up Homelander. And those photos go out of the cloud and into Ronan Farrow's inbox. The whole world will know that Homelander is nothing but a filthy rapist. And Vought has been hiding his little laser-eyed bastard. I reckon you might want to keep it that way. Mr. Butcher. Oh, hello. How can I be sure you actually have the proof? Roll the dice. He'd be more popular than me going every little sprog. Here's my first and final <laughs> offer. That information never sees the light of day, and I'll call off Black Noir. Got yourself a deal. Put Noir on. Oi. Missus wants a word. Oi. <laughs> I gotta add that. Oi. <clears throat> Even his aunt said it. <laughs> Boy, Billy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Billy. Hey, man, you all right? Okay. Does he actually have pictures, though? I don't think so. Do you really have those pictures? Of course I do. In me noggin. He doesn't. <laughs> they said there'd be food. Well, this is food for your soul. So they're just taking homeless people in? Me? Oh, my God. Yeah, they're trying to get, like, converse, I think. <laughs> Listen, uh, we should talk. Yeah. If any of these are going to help you get back in the seven, and that's a big if, then you're going to need a woman to tell everyone that you're not a complete piece of shit. I could be that person for you. Wait, you think I'm a piece of shit? Yeah. The point is, <laughs> I can help you. Is she trying to do that so Homelander can be distracted me. on him? Yeah. yeah she just needs that one, I think. I feel like she's going to catch her, definitely. <laughs> How easy was that? Oh, what are you doing in my trailer? You know, you had no right to talk to my mother about personal shit. Okay, sorry. She didn't just lie to me about compound V. She lied to me about everything. Don't try and broker some kind of peace between us. I don't want it. Oh my God, look, I'm like tearing up. <laughs> you don't suck, Starlight. You are Tilda. Swinton. I know you leaked it. I have no idea what you're talking about. Not as good. Magic's gone. I need to get to set. That oh. hack -a -limb gecko. Yeah, he stole the V, and then you, you leaked it to MSNBC. Now, what do you think Vought's gonna feel when I tell them? He's pretty well, good. How do you think the world will feel when I tell them that you used to be Liberty? Wow. You are a special kind of poison flower, huh? <laughs> Going against your own people? You mean white people superheroes be racist <laughs> oh my oh yes that is adorable <laughs> i do like you what the hell does that mean come in oh is that homelander how did you know since they're buds now hello you two not interrupting am i no just between us girls right starlight yeah see you around mm -hmm. can't wait to shoot our scene together yeah me too what was that all about Girls friendly? <laughs> no, just running lines. What's up? Me. Five points. <laughs> yeah, people are uh, checking boxes like patriotic, unwavering. I owe you. Well, what are you ever going to do to repay me? Here we are. I'm sorry. We're harder than that. And we. <laughs> I will get your mum back. I swear to God, I'll get your mum back. You hang in there. All right? Be a good boy for Judy. It's weird to see him be nice to someone. Yeah. Oh. I almost forgot. But he's nice to animals to show that he's not like a sociopath or something. <laughs> he kept that in. Terror? Oh, it's Homelander? Fuck <laughs> it. That's my boy. <laughs> it said that. <laughs> it's a bad no right for an old bear. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. 
Mm. Oh no. Oh, that's why they like each other. Ooh, this is kinky. Oh, the music stopped. Do it. You know you want to. I'll cut you in half. Come on. Right here. Don't be a p laser my fing tits. Why did he why did he do that? Oh god. <laughs> Don't stop. Like how is she not dying? He's holding back a little bit. I think. Or she can or she's strong. <laughs> don't leave no marks on winter. See, Your rap's getting tough right now. I told you I don't break easy. <laughs> oh no, what if that's a new like girlfriend? <laughs> Why are they punching each other in the face? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like some things bit into it. The heck? <laughs> they need to like go outside or something so they don't break everything. All right, guys. So uh, I guess they're a thing now. So we should root for love always. So <laughs> you know, I guess so. Um, Congrats! You if guys. they're gonna be doing that, I guess the responsible thing to do would to be to be in a relationship and maybe work on getting married. Maybe. <laughs> so uh, I guess Homelander's been been missing out, and I guess he likes that girl. I would have never thought that. I guess. Yeah. Well, so the whole time, the whole time while he's been looking at her, like you're trying to undermine me. What are you doing? You're stressing me out. The whole time he's been secretly looking at her another way. Well, isn't it something with Homelander? He he like fears, but maybe also he kind of likes when people aren't scared of him. Yeah, I don't know. That's yeah, what it kind of like, seems like. It's he like, has respect for people who will stand up to him. Yeah. Something. I don't know. That was kinky, crazy episode, man. I'm glad that Billy Butcher has such great friends. Uh, turns out his family's tough. Yeah, a tough upbringing, and Black Noir was trying to cause some trouble. But it turns out Billy Butcher is a quick thinker on his feet, and he pretty much said that we got some uh, we got some evidence on you boys. So they caught off the hit and saved the day. Mm -hmm. And I could have done without that last scene, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ready to get into another one? Yeah. All right, guys. Episode six: The Bloody Doors Off. The Bloody Doors Off. Yeah. Why didn't you say it like Billy Butcher? Obviously, he, it was his phrase. The Bloody Doors Off. <laughs> He's obviously <laughs> Frenchy. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're ridiculous. Oh, no, I am not a ridiculous. Well, we say the point. I learned everything I know from those girls. The Golden Girls. I was alone in New York, you know? Turning tricks, begging <laughs> for the scraps. Who you think kept me company? The Golden Girls. 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. And you're not talking about porn. It's disrespectful. No, you're so sensitive. <laughs> those saucy ladies. They made their own film. I never watched that. I wish I did. So I did what they did. Mm. You are my Blanche. Blanche. And Ray, my Dorothy. Because mm, you're a little gay. So you're Betty White. Of course I'm Betty White. I know who Betty White is. You gotta get Frenchie no. away from these people. <laughs> who wants to rob a bank? <laughs> <laughs> Will it get through my skin? I don't think this is a good idea. Stormfront knows I leaked the V. Yeah, but she hasn't come after you. That means that she has some f plan for me. I need this chip out now. I understand, but you... It's always harder when it's someone you love. What? Lemo. No, 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 I don't. I mean, I, I, I do, of course. It's just, we're just okay, friends. Okay, can we just do this already before <laughs> I change my mind? Okay, this is happening. Oh my god, please okay. don't, because they're going to show it. It's going to make it's sparks of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> Hopefully that was all, right? Ew. Bleh. It worked. Damn, that's a long one. Bonjour, my little spy. Uh oh. <laughs> that's not who you want to get caught by. The sheriff. Howdy ho, buckaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the thing you broke my head. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you want to do with him? Hand him over to the police, of course. He'll probably just be released tomorrow. That's a really good point. Sometimes it feels like like the justice system just doesn't work anymore. Everyone always recording on their phone all the time. It's like you can't even do, do your, your job, job anymore. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> please, just, please just take me. Oh, my just God. I would hate please. to get captured by them. It really speaks to the deterioration of good. God-fearing American values. Kill me! Oh my god. Oh, what's this world coming to? Ah, yes! 
Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't wait for them to break up. <laughs> There's another head splat. How many is that? Like 80 this season. Oh, they sinister. are out of control. Oh, they are yeah. sinister. Oh, that's his blood. Homelander does not need more for someone to just fuel that up. Hey, I'm saying thank you. Who is the biggest prankster on set? You know, Black Noir is. Hey, I just thought about something. If Homelander arrests somebody and then he just gives them their word that he was doing what he says, or does he have to show up to court? Because he ain't got time to be in court all the time. They probably just give him, like, listen to what he says. This is where you're living? The rats are like uh, Pokemon. <laughs> There's people Asian working. Kings. <laughs> oh, so you back? Tired killing people for money? Their first fight. Uh, hi. Remember me? She's so Aww, unpredictable. She I know. stresses me out. <laughs> but you gotta love her for some reason. Well, 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 what have we here? Remember when he just shot her? What are you gonna say? We just took out our chip. Everything's fine. <laughs> Starlight. Like, walk up, Don't you just light up a roof, mate? <laughs> You're looking well. Yeah, no thanks to the 50 caliber round that she pumped in. <laughs> well, what don't kill you makes you stronger. Walk up, walk up. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. What's she doing here? Uh, she has a lead on Stormfront. Broke into her laptop. Dozens of emails from Stan Edgar. Stan Edgar? I said Sage Grove. And what does Voice Big Slapper have to say? They're close to a breakthrough at the Sage Grove Center. Oh. What kind of breakthrough? She came in before I could see any more. Starlight, would you be amenable to joining us on this little caper? You want her to come? If shit goes sideways, who do you think Voight's gonna go after? Us or their billion dollar baby turned traitor? Who yeah, good point. Out? Never. Go into shark and face the waters without chum. Boy. <laughs> he said he's shark like walk up. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? This is who I am. You know, he's like, he says front yard broad day with the SK. No. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> That's what Billy did. He was like, he's like No, he really <laughs> did, but like I did not think of that at all. That's hilarious, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Brave Maeve Pride. <laughs> oh, the Hershey bar. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her vaping. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Idiot. You were supposed to call first. Did anyone see you? I'm allowed to visit my friends. Did you find it? No, sorry. No black box. But told a couple of my contacts to keep an eye on the North Atlantic Currents or the school halibut. The halibut. Anyway, <laughs> they found some of the records and they found this. <sighs> a GoPro? You want back in the seven? Not a word of this to anyone so why do they need that saving lives taking names nice and easy <laughs> ain't no love like a race wave what <laughs> we all crazy oh, Matt. <laughs> youtube youtube will appreciate that isn't it lit your very own anthem she said isn't it lit <laughs> like there's so many like white rappers yes, on youtube no. who i like, actually well, like this is just okay? the demo. we're going out to lil nas x for the official version <laughs> maybe you could bust out prince's guitar for the video I had to sell Prince's guitar. So they're giving him basically the cringiest goodbye yeah. <laughs> possible. Yo, here comes A Train. What? What? I'm right here, buddy. <laughs> Over here. What's yeah. up, buddy? <laughs> Good to see you. I see what they're trying to do to you. What do you mean? I mean, come on. If anyone knows what it's like to get bounced, it's me. Did some shit I'm not too proud of. Some weird shit. <laughs> I'm good, man. Nike and Under Armour already talking to my people. Oh, that's great. Well, then, uh, guess you don't need his help. Who's? Yeah, what you gonna do at Nike all day? Take pictures for those posters? Oh, is he trying to recruit him? Fresca? <laughs> That's what the Fresca is. It's like like the Jonestown juice. Right. Oh, no. He's on it hard, ain't he? He's about to recruit A-Train. He's, He's like, Fresca, Fresca. Sage Grove, <laughs> proud subsidiary no of one Global Wellness that. Services, which is a subsidiary of... I can guess. Are they dressed up? <laughs> this is what you bought with your blood money. <laughs> No one will believe you an orderly with that. Mm. I should go in with What that. a G. Hey, you manage without one bony blonde suit. You just get him in and get a f back, yeah? Okay, just if anybody recognizes your face in there, I mean... She better wig up or something. Like Frenchy, don't get cool. I never do. Really? I I've seen you in a cage before. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> caught again. Oh, that was caught before. Weaponized Xanax. Mallory. 
It's the grenades you used on Behemoth during the bank heist. You got a soup activated by rage, so you simply take away his rage, turn him into a cupcake. I don't know what you are talking about. And Cold Snap two months ago, Malchemical a month before that, you don't know about those either? What is this about? He's a serial soup killer. You're looking at 20 to 25 minimum. Or you can come work for me. I know. That's a pity. I thought it was gonna say. <laughs> but even more nice. so for Cherie and Jay, I believe. They go free. That depends on you. You can't do the hassle. <laughs> Wait, what kind of work do you do? Hey. Frank, she is this show's Jesse. Um, like Breaking Bad? I'd have to watch it more to really understand that. I have a surprise for you. You remember how Jesse was in Breaking Bad? I have to yeah, stop but I don't really like him too much. I look kind of like crunchy. Yeah. I will be back in 20 minutes. And then I'll let you surprise me wherever you want. Yeah, now he's going to have to know what she's doing, though, with Edgar. Yeah, okay. I was going to get jealous, but like the ultimate jealous. No, he's going to spy on her. That's from him? Oh. Who's he scoping? <laughs> you see him? Yeah, I see him. <laughs> Don't do it. That's your canary's canary, so chill. Yeah, that was kind of dark, huh? I know, he was just like <laughs> scoping her head like that. What the heck? <laughs> it's like his little brother's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Get him. He's bossy, remember? Now I understand Jay's thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh no, not my boy. Here. <laughs> Seriously? What is your problem with me? I ain't got no problem with you, love. That's why you won't even touch my hand. Okay. I hate Vought as much as you do, you know that. But it doesn't even matter to you because only good soup is a dead soup, right? Your words, not mine. That's enough. <laughs> You know what? You're just a bigot and a bully. I know another guy just like that. He's got a flag for a cape. Boy. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, shoot, he's. Oh, f me. Huey, call him now. I have a patient that needs help. Hurry up, please. What's wrong with him? Just open the goddamn door. He's swallowing his tongue. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What's wrong with him? Easy. They played that so smooth. So does Starlight fly or does she use like lightning? I meant Stormfront, my bad. Oh, I was about to say, I don't, I don't remember her doing that. Stormfront, and she like got there somehow. <laughs> Beatrix Kiddo. What the f is all of this? God damn, brother's got a love sausage. That looks like that guy who won Survivor. Rupert or whatever his name was. Yeah. They try to make one like L. Stormfront is here. How you doing today? Do you want to show us a little of what you've been working on? Hey, you're okay. You're all right. That is very impressive, Tim. That orderly storm for us with. He look familiar to you? Je sais pas. What about headaches? No. Well, that's promising. I think we are getting close. Ma'am. Hmm. I want to see my family. You were admitted to Sage Grove because you're suicidal. You could be a danger to yourself. Well, I'm not doing any more of these stupid pet tricks until I talk to my sister. Okay. We'll work something out. Why is she being so fake? He's obviously a prisoner and he doesn't realize it. He thinks he's like committed, but he's actually. Oh no. <laughs> so he's Iron Man in this instead of Iceman? That's fing him later. Oh. How do you recognize him without a mask and a hood? We have to kill him, of course. No, 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 we can't. For Madame and Laurie, for her grandchildren. Not right now. First, we gotta find out what the f all this shit is. Stick to the plan, Frenchie. A twist. Yeah, that's Frenchie's opportunity right there. What the hell? It's crazy that Iceman's lamplighter, yeah. though. You guys okay? Stormfront's in there. That ain't all who's here. Okay, she just left. Get the hell out now. Alright, let's get the f out of here. Mm. Stay He's cool. Gonna notice Stay him. cool. He's gonna notice him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he wanted him to notice him. Uh oh. Eleven. 
Hey, you haven't escaped. Cindy, let's be cool. Do you remember that extra helping of craft that I snuck you? <laughs> oh god, that means Cindy is about to do something crazy. Like Who are your friends? We ain't his friends. Boy, f his ass up. We dressed like his friends. I don't like liars. <laughs> Shit. That's crazy. <laughs> that might have been. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Wait, they took her out to use her? Oh, she's breaking them free. Oh my goodness. I think they did try to make that like 11 because she said, I don't like the <laughs> Friends don't lie. Stay the f back or I will burn your skin off ass. Oh, you won't get the chance. Mm. That'd be so scary. I know. <laughs> but they're doing some crazy junk in there. They're experimenting on live people, right? Right. And they're they're obviously behind it and they're lying and they're she's a super using them. Oh, yeah, boss probably written these people. So they do like bad stuff. Oh. It's a lockdown. No one's getting out of here, not even her. There's gotta be an access call. There is genius at the front door, and there's no fing way I am telling you or taking you with me. You do realize a whole army of soups on the other side of that door that want to tear you apart, right? She can help. I'm gonna take my chance. Stupid. <laughs> 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 Oh, he throws up acid. Oh. That's how I feel if I eat sausage biscuits. Okay, you guys can come. Those things give me so much acid reflux, bro. Ugh. I know, we look at you. <laughs> come on in, Mama. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Marvin. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Easy does it, lad. I don't want them to hurt me again. Okay, they won't. Bye. Oh, no. No, no, no one's gonna hurt you, son. Uh, we're all friends here, aren't we? His soft voice is terrible. He's like, oh, a fellow weasel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shockwave. Well, how can they die, though? Those ones. Because they're not invincible, they just have abilities. Maybe they're like making fun of X Men or something right now. You're right. Yeah, fine. Uh oh. No, you're not fine. Huey. Huey! No, 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 no. Uh, Can you cauterize? Uh, oh, f the kid must have fried everything. I need power. Well, you got a pretty straight superpower, then, don't you? <laughs> we got to get him to a doctor. If the gray goes down, she's useless. I don't useless. know, but look, come on. Come on. Uh, what about the others? They're on their own. See? Huey cared for him. Now it's his time to care for Huey. Yeah, and then him and Starlight are going to bond over it. Right. And then they're all three going to be in goods with you. Oh, he is not happy she's not back yet. Hey. Don't you dare tell me you haven't found Starlight yet. <coughs> so Did he burn the whole house now? He blew up her trailer? Well, that's what I meant to say, a trailer, but yeah. He's like, what a shame. Your trailer. That's all happened. I've been searching everywhere for you. What happened to your trailer? The electrical fire. <laughs> that was your meeting. Sorry, it ran long. No need to apologize. I gotta go run lines with Norm. Team 48 tonight. Something Same wrong? she was running lines no. with Starlight. Why would anything be wrong? By the way, I went to the tower and you weren't there. So you're checking on me? That's what I do. see how your meeting went. Let me explain. Come on now. Why would you need to explain anything to me? Uh-oh. Homelander knows that he can be rough with her, so he's about to take advantage of that. Deep, your numbers among women have been ticking up. Oh, no. <laughs> so, what's on your mind, they train Deep invited me here. Just having a really nice lunch, I guess. Yeah. And Deep, what's on your mind? Well, uh -oh. <laughs> the A-Train sabotaged me my entire career. What? And I fantasize about drowning you over and over again, <laughs> but, man, I don't want to feel that way anymore. I want to be clean. Oh, boy. Looks like we got ourselves a good old truth exchange. Oh, Can you hell bring him there for that? Please sit down. No, look, man, I seen that documentary about you guys. It's not my type of shit. For a man in seven figure debt, a heart condition, and in heavy withdrawal, do you really think you have the luxury to get up and leave? Did he tell you that shit? No, the church knows all kinds of things. <laughs> They're gonna give Shockwave your uniform, you know that? Call him the next day, train. No, they can't do that. Why not? A train is a trademark. You are just another nobody from the south side of Chicago. Man. I can help. I can get you back in. Sit down. Let Deep tell you his truths. Come on, in here. Oh, shoot. 
It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> all the morphine. What the hell is going on here? Huh? You all are juicing people with compound V, only to burn them alive. Maybe I just like watching people burn. I remember you, you know. You were tailing me the night that I torched those kids. So why didn't you stop me? Maybe you like watching people burn too. If he's dead, burn! No, 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 no! He's gone! Come on! Easy. <laughs> Easy. Come on, man. Come on, kid. I don't want to hear no bullshit about I'm going to get tired of the p I love this girl. Like, <laughs> just the one. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 Congratulations, right. Mark. Thank you, Colonel. Check it out. It's beautiful. <laughs> the bachelor party I will throw you. What's your thoughts about transgender strippers? <laughs> strippers ain't really my kind of Hershey's, with or without nuts. Golf? <laughs> Thinking about doing a golf trip. Oi. Here he goes. <laughs> That's what they made him be? Yeah. <laughs> like the seven, probably. What the f are you laughing at? Sorry, mate. You just look like one of them Ponzi baton twirl. A majorette. That's right. A fucking majorette. He looks like Aragorn when they first met him. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what happens now. You're going to tell us every single thing you see and hear at the tower. Especially when it comes to Homelander. Always. That means yes. Please don't pretend like you have a choice. I look forward to your call. So he was one of the boys at a time. Yeah, his past got rejected though. Easy peasy. I don't like it. They don't back an animal like that into a corner. Frenchie, don't let him out of your sight. We oui, mother. Aw. Frenchie feels really bad because he was tight with her. That was her grandkid. That's so sad. Hey, what's the trouble, miss? Sir. I need you to get out of your car. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? FBI, need to commandeer your vehicle. Bit of an emergency. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, I can get, get you guys to the hospital, but we're out in the middle of nowhere here. I'm not gonna give you my car. Have it your way. <laughs> Put your... Don't. Say back. Whoa! Okay, let's just talk. FBI? You're yeah, really, you're not even American. You're not even American. <laughs> I mean, I'd be suspicious. Just stand your ground, state. You stay back. I'm taking your keys. Water, stop. Just put the gun down. I said, stay back. I said, put it down. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. You couldn't just listen to me and stay back. It's a dark world, Starlight. Oh <laughs> man, yeah, he's dead. Cool dead. Oh gosh. What's in that? Metal? Yeah, a piece of metal or something. It won't hold long. Come on. How can they take him to the hospital? Oh no. That car seat. She feels like she needs to go to prison. Is this the right time to go shopping? One way not. This is good news. What do you mean by that? Some other odds and ends, I'll make a knockout bomb. <laughs> He's resourceful. Why does it say Teddy? This is Teddy Lighter. Still alive? Dumb luck? No. I mean that night. We went underground for months. But you never came for us. Not you, not Homelander. Why? You're disappointed we didn't kill you? I thought the Seven always retaliates, no? You're nobody. Not worth it. You didn't tell them, did you? Why wouldn't you tell them? Who says I didn't? I figured you boast about it to Homelander. Must have been thrilling for you. I'm not a an animal. You murdered innocent children. If that's not an animal, then what is, huh? I didn't know! You were supposed to be your boss. Oh no. Then they started screaming. But it was too late. So what, are we supposed to feel bad for you now? I don't want anything from you. But you, I saw you following me that night, and then you disappeared. Why didn't you stop me? Uh-oh. Good question. He was high. <laughs> all right, all right. Jerry, this is He's dying. Jerry, he's ordeaning. I don't, I don't know what he took. Take him to the hospital. Sells you f***ing come right now. Damn, so that's why he had to leave. That oh, sucks. and then he could have prevented her, him from torching Mallory's kids that night. Yeah, absolutely. But then it would have been Mallory at some point. Come on. Come on, one of me. Oh, me. Look at me. You stay with him. You keep him talking. Okay? Where are you going? I told you I have some. Why are 
no, no, no. Please, stay with them. Oh, no. Why do you want to go? Go. We don't give a shit. I'll be back. Just to me. He's burning up. Go as fast as I can. Oh, he has a Billy Joel shirt on, too. I appreciate what you've done back there. Oh, thanks. Your approval means everything to me. And some sarcasm to stick the landing. Nice one. You know what I was thinking when I was looking at him? Why'd you pull the gun, you stupid That's all. Maybe once I would have cried over him, but now he was just another person in our way. Y'all were trying to take his car, to be fair. I'd have pulled mine on you, too. No. Uh, what? No to that f look of quiet respect. I don't want it. We're nothing alike. <laughs> What's their animosity, though? I think they're going to end up liking each other. Like, not like that, but, you know, like, yeah. you really think respecting each other. I think so. No, they're not trying to make soups here. These people are test subjects. They're trying to stabilize the bee. Infants handle it best. But adults, I mean, you saw what happens. Sometimes you get power. Sometimes you get a freak. Vought is trying to stabilize it so that you put the V in any adult arm anytime and you get solid powers. Okay, so a thousand more soups? Gonna f up their movies, their merchandising. But they don't tell me. They just make me burn the evidence, okay? He still enjoys it, though. Maybe they do it to make, like, a super-powered one, like, they take their blood and, like, get all the, I don't know, My best friend, DNA. who did, and I left to save them that night. Why I didn't stop you? You were at the party. I was away for 30 minutes. Came back, you were gone. Did you live? We. Oui. But I never saw him again, and uh, he died a few months later, another overdose. Are you serious? For Frenchie, wh why didn't you ever tell us? What difference would it make? After all these years, man, we would have let you off the hook. What makes you think I want to be let off the hook? Dang. Mm, so deep. That was dark. Sheesh. Inside. This whole episode is just a depression fest right now. We need some action. Uh-oh. Wicked. Uh -huh. What is that? <laughs> It's like a worm, right? But he had a bossy, um, ew, <laughs> gross. What was that? It's okay. <laughs> Don't be so close minded. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he just threw that out there and yeah. was like she crushed it and somehow it ran out of gas <sighs> lamp lighter that was easy work for her lamp lighter oh no can we go don't do it thing i'm here i just killed six subjects out there like a f teddy bear picnic what the hell happened doctor Carlton got the propofol dose wrong again. So Cindy got loose, freed some of the others. I'm sure some of them got out before lockdown. Where's Dr. Carlton? Cafeteria and hallway and some of the walls. <laughs> Is he covering for them, basically? Right. And she's obviously working like deep with Vought. Mm -hmm. Right. Because she's like direct line to the Edgar. If anyone else got loose. Yes, ma'am. And he mammed her, so they're not really friends. We need help. What'd they say? Just needs a couple of days. You should be all right. We don't have a couple of days. Well, we're gonna have to risk it. Jesus. What? The kid shampoo he uses. <laughs> L'Oreal for kids. Oh my God, you used to use that same one. <laughs> that gel was so sweet smelling back in the day. Right. Oh. And it was tear free. I mean. Yeah. Y'all remember that Nerf you know, soap with the net on it? No, I didn't have that one. I swear to God, he's got rashes down there. I don't want to know that. They're bonding. But he really just never gives up on you, does he? And he follows you around like a right little pup. Aye. <laughs> Boy. He's Boy. too good for either of us. <laughs> He'll I'm never gonna know. Post -made, I'm going to post me Sugarfish. Where's your phone? I can't hear you. Where's... I hope one day Homelander wagers that place down and we see it crumble. Yeah. That'd be crazy. That's a good prediction, honestly. Uh-oh. Homelander and Queen Maeve. Oh my God, they're leaving us. Hey, did you say sugarfish? Take these two. No, no. Just these two. Please. No, what? So they could tell the world we left the rest of them to die? Alina. Oh, no. She's going to be like, you're corrupt, girl. Got to go. The Homelander kind of made her. I'm going to show that to Homelander. And he's either going to leave us alone or I'm going to put it on CNN. 
Elena, this is our out. I was scared. I know I should have stood up to him. I know that. Elena, I watched a plane full of people die. Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, she'd have been in that situation. Yeah. She'd have done the same thing, probably. Yo, close stitch, but Hugh is okay. Oh, man. Hey, tell Butcher about the thick penis around your neck. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It's just Frenchie being Frenchie. I'm sorry. For a long time, I was trying to save you. I thought uh, if I did somehow, that would make up for the things I've done. You never ask to be saved. So I leave you alone. <laughs> She's about to teach him sign language, I bet. Yeah, I hope she does. Gotta go. Colonel. Marvin, where is he? My family, Lloyd. I know I wasn't welcome at the funeral, so... Where is he? Hmm. Why isn't this man restrained? No need, I wanted to come. I don't want to hear a single goddamn word from you. I thought this was behind me. But it's not. It never is. I know what you have to do. Do it. Oh. You'd be doing me a favor. Is she gonna do it or not? Not if you're really begging please. for it. I think she's gonna do it. If I may, besides you, no one wanted him dead more than me. But I am begging you for his life. I have no choice. It won't help you. All you've been doing is ending his torment. You cannot punish him as much as he punishes himself. What exactly are you proposing we do with him? What's he gonna do? I don't know. Uh, use him okay. to get. Use him to infiltrate her. To set her up. I'm Maybe. so glad you're here. Yeah. I don't know. Please, just let me explain. Flap, flap, flap. How's that little mouth of yours? You told me that you don't breathe easily. Well, I've been thinking about that. I will never lie to you again. I will tell you everything, starting with this. Mm-hmm. Your grandmother. My daughter. You old, old. Chloe, she died of Alzheimer's. I was born in 1919. Jeez. In Berlin. How are you so hip with the times? Well, because you lived through them. <laughs> I would be like, what the hell is a meme? Are you with Heinrich Himmler. And that's Goebbels. And the most important man in the room. The guy who like invented Vought or whatever. Frederick Vought. <laughs> he gave me the first successful V injection. He taught me everything. And then we fell in love and he gave me a daughter. He made me and his genius made you. I wonder if like her son in a way. He's like, what the? Frederick didn't care about all the fans or stardom or any of that shallow bullshit. We are in a war for the culture. The other races are grinding us down and taking what is rightfully ours, but we can fight back. <laughs> She's like a real life Nazi. With an army of supermen, yeah. millions strong, because that is Vought's true destiny. And you will be the man who will lead us. <laughs> okay. I see, I see. Do you get it? You are everything. Oh, I love you with all of my heart. How could I not? Everyone I have ever loved is in the ground. And then I found you. We found each other. And now neither of us has to be alone ever again. <laughs> Thank you for being. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Cindy escaped. I hate to tell y'all, but I would never pick her. <laughs> Crazy episode. I say that at the end of every single The Boys episode, but geez. Uh, the Deep is doing his part to try to... He's spreading the good word. Yeah, he's trying to get a train <laughs> into... Uh, his little cult. The, what's it called? The Collective or something? Yeah. Which is, you know, I've done said it before, but anytime someone uses the word collective, you should be a little aware of it. What uh, are y'all collecting, you know? <laughs> well, the whole idea is like once you like care more about the collective than individuality and individual freedoms and stuff... Goes out the wayside. So you think they're just like they're just like this level with like controlling him right now? It's gonna continuously. Yeah. I, I'm thinking it's like the Church of Scientology or something like that. That's those, the vibe of getting. Those frescas are about to juice him up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. Yeah. And then we learned we learned a lot in this episode. Take it away. Well, the first thing I think we learned is like who Lamplighter is, which mm -hmm. of course he was working with Vought still, but he was working with. Stormfront. Right, which is the number one uh, recipient of the Compound V mm -hmm. and the oldest suit, yeah. basically. And basically, she's kind of like Captain America. She was born in 19... 
you know, the 1900s and she's still like around. So she again. was uh, roughly like 100 years old or something. something I don't remember like what that. year this was come out, but she's roughly. Yeah. Um, yeah. 100 years old. Right. Homelander has him a new a new little fantasy Sidekick, woman, I guess. Yeah. yeah. He's out there just doing all his little superhero fantasies. I wonder if he likes her more than Maeve. I, I think now that he now that she kind of said like, hey, I kind of worship you. He's like going to love that and run with it. And they're going to do some evil crap together. Yeah, but that's a double edged sword, though. When someone's like obsessed with you, that can be a bad thing also. Yeah, but I, I, don't think, know. I think she's using it more to like fuel him to do some more bad stuff. Right. I think she's manipulating him on some yeah. level because she just saw how easily his emotions are very strong on her. And I think that she knows that she and, can definitely. Right. And I think Edgar needs that. control of him and she, Edgar's going to use Stormfront. To control right. Homelander because he went out there to his little press conference and he decided he was about to just take <laughs> that thing over. He thought that he just knew better than everybody, so that part was interesting. Um, Huey's stabbed up right now. I hope that he's okay. Something tells me that he will be. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's just stabbed for filler. Just I think so I think he's stabbed just for Starlight and and um Billy Butcher to have to a relationship. A word, yeah, man. yeah. Um, so they're obviously just bonding. It's unfortunate you got to stab Huey in his abdomen to make that happen. <laughs> you know, they could just run to walmart together <laughs> or something but right. hey sometimes you gotta stab somebody uh, i think the funniest thing in the episode right now is a train getting booted from the seven this is so funny because they're trying to make this fake marvel world and they even got the cop car <laughs> kind of like on the original yeah, avengers, movie. avengers yeah. yeah and they're trying to write him out the script but he he wants to go out the way he wants to go out but ultimately they made him shut up and follow on so the best part was that wasn't even the real Homelander that he was talking about. Yeah, that was the best part of this episode. He turns around as <laughs> some knockoff. Some guy with a huge chin. Uh, basically, Maeve is being tortured right Ultimately now. Ultimately tortured. Right, but I think the good news is, is he is a little preoccupied right now. So um, hopefully the bullseye comes off Maeve a little bit because... Bro, I'm telling you what, they're putting her through it. They're making her... She basically works for Disney at this point. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> But, but you know, with that tape, I was thinking, what's that really going to do? Because when she shows Homelander, he's just going to zap it. She well, better make copies. It's not about, well, yeah, that's the thing. I don't think it's, I think basically, man, there's just this public sentiment growing against Homelander. Yeah. Which, you know, and uh, I think that's going to become a real issue. And I think that the more the public demands things and asks him questions, and not only are they going to ask him questions, like they're also going to ask him really stupid questions and really unfair questions and one-sided questions also. And I, I just don't think he's going to be able to handle it. Yeah, and I think he's just I mean, he deserves out, the scrutiny, sure. But he's going to out everyone else, just like take the cover off whatever's being said, you know? Well, once the media puts you in their bullseye, you could literally say, hey, the sky's blue, I swear, and they're going to lie about it. And they're just yeah. going to make you out look crazy. And I don't think he's going to be able to handle that. Well, know, it just so. started with Maeve, you know? He knew yeah. a dirty secret about Maeve, so he immediately just flipped the script. Right. And he might continue to do that if they don't chill. I, I hope that all the old soups... Even though some of them kind of suck, but it'd be cool if even A Train, because A Train's being outed because of Homelander. So even if A Train could somehow get on board with trying to, you know, shut this dude down, that'd be cool. I think but, I think that's what he's gonna do when he he might not he might have to join the collective, and that might be the collective. I feel like is gonna try to take down Homelander too. I don't know why. Well, the collective, I don't think they're just gonna have some moral purpose. I think the collective is just. I don't know. I, I just get the vibe that somehow they're all in bed together. I could be completely wrong. They're trying but I don't to trust make the their way into the seven for some reason. I don't because, I'm not really sure. Well, it's because if you think about the deep baby, like he fell in line. It's not like they was like, you know what, do you brother have your individuality? Don't let this corporation tell you what to do. They basically like rehabilitated his ass and yeah. made him the perfect specimen for what Vaught's looking for. So right, but they picked someone sense, vulnerable too. Like they and I think they noticed A Train getting kicked off also was making him vulnerable and like his money right. situation was tight. Yeah, so they probably like feed off the vulnerable. Well, they're like a little mafia at the same time. They basically yeah. told him like you can leave, but you're looking at so much financial trouble mm -hmm. that you might as well just stay here. And that's like a Nice shop you got here. Sure, you know, be a shame if it burnt down. Is is yeah, that type of thing? Yeah, yeah. So that's the vibe I get. I, I got the idea that he was he wasn't exactly a guest there. I mean, he probably could have walked away. It's his choice, but uh, I just don't trust that place. I feel like that lady has a shadier backstory than we're being let on. So yeah, I don't know. The only thing that makes me think that for real is because they just made the deep into like the perfect character, and not and it's not like they're just superheroes. Like if if they were actually superheroes, then. People would be a lot less concerned about like what they said and stuff, mm -hmm. but it's that they're actors. Yeah, and when you're in that, you know, they got you got to tuck the line for sure. So, mm -hmm. uh, crazy episode. Yeah, I mean, I think that Cindy is gonna come after Stormfront for sure. Mm -hmm. 
because obviously like she thought she killed her yeah and that's gonna be a problem but i think like everyone's gonna be coming at stormfront and homelander now that they're just gonna be come people fighting them in different angles the whole time when he was fantasizing about destroying everyone in the crowd who was questioning i think that even putting that thought in your mind is like a like a possibility. I think that ultimately that's probably what's going to happen. Right. He's just going to go crazy one day. Right. And with the eyes up. The problem is, is if he decided to do that, how would they shut him down? That's the ultimate question I always have. Right. Right. And now he that just he take has over Stormfront on his side. Well, that's the thing. I don't know if Stormfront's really on his side or she's just toting the line for Edgar. I don't really know. Right. Yeah. Because I feel like Edgar and her are like kind of in the same boat with like how Vought strong they are. Mm-hmm. And Homelander's like the issue, but I feel like Homelander's the most powerful, so that's why they are timid around him because they still know like they can't control him because he's powerful. I don't know. We're gonna see. So it's basically the most powerful individual versus the most powerful corporation. Yeah, right. And they can't really like you, they can't go killing him or whatever. What if Homelander takes over Vought though and really like bends it to his like whim? You know what I mean? And it becomes like a double, like a double sided whammy. Yeah. Because it's the most powerful being controlling the most powerful corporation. It's like checkmate on humanity. Right. Right. I mean, I kind of thought that's what it, because I thought when he controlled Madeline in the first season that that was him doing that. But obviously Madeline was just a little fish in that bot pond. Yeah, absolutely. So that we thought she was somebody. Yeah, I really did. So I really thought like season four, we would still be dealing with Madeline, but we don't even have to half deal with her with doppelganger anymore. She was definitely replaceable. 100%. Yeah. Which Ashley isn't really considered a replacement, though, because she's controlled by Homelander, right? Yeah. So I don't know. Like, she has to work for Edgar, too. It's well, weird. that it seems like she was the first step in Homelander, like, seizing control of Vought, though. Yeah. That's why, you know, because he, he comes up, he basically comes up from the sea looking like a beast, and then he's got his little, his little minion, you know, so he's got Ashley doing his bidding, and I don't know, man. Like he really could. I don't know. I don't know what his end goal would be. You know, I really don't know like what his motivations would be at this point. But it's hard to understand Homelander because he's just one of those type of people. He's rich. He's famous in a sense. He walks around bot. He's got all this power. But when you're that powerful, like what do you want? You know. I feel like I feel well. I felt like in previous episodes that what I really thought it was was his son. I thought his son was like going to be his driving factor. But he didn't even talk about his son. This but episode. what happens when your son grows up? Well, I, th- I thought his, you know? he was going to like, you know, like live through his son because his son was going to be like the next Homelander. I guess if you're Homelander, like there's really only two things on the planet that can actually motivate you if you're the world's greatest superhero. I mean, you're basically above human, mm-hmm. right? All the money in the world is not going to satisfy you because, you know, everyone can have all the Because mo- all the people in the world who have money, they create things that are mere boring to someone with like godlike power yeah right? so the only thing in the world that could really excite him is like being the most famous person in the world being or the most, most powerful, powerful yeah or so he can either be the greatest hero in the world or he could be the greatest villain so it's really going to come down to like what's more entertaining to him really mm-hmm. i mean it seems like he doesn't really have a lot of i'm just thinking if i was homelander i don't really know how there could be much moral gray there like how could you expect me to just sit in business meetings but i can fly around the planet Right. It'd just be hard, you know? I just think it's crazy also the dynamic because in season one, you know, everyone was kind of afraid of Homelander. Right. Now they're flipping the script trying to take him down. Like, imagine if they're like, all right, Mr. October, there's someone who just robbed a bank and stole a car and it's got two kids in it. You don't think if I if I pulled up, you don't think I'd be show button? <laughs> I would be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd probably be talking all kinds of trash. So at the end of the day, I don't know what motivates this man, but he's just too powerful to just be running around doing whatever he wants. So I think we all can agree on that. Yeah, he he definitely needs someone to reel him in, and that's what Vought right. kind of is. But so. that's sorry to interrupt you, baby. I have a bad habit of that. No, you're good. I just feel like if you're powerful enough to ring in Homelander, then you're an issue your damn self. So yeah, it's just a weird world. I don't really see how this system works in in America. This show would be a lot easier to write if it was in a different country, maybe like Canada or something. But in America, with our constitutions and our rights and all that, like all that sort of goes out the window. Because what I was saying in the show, if Homelander gets you for robbing a car and then brings you to the police, then he's going to have to make a statement and then he's going to have to show up to court and defend that statement because that's just how the, you know, the American justice system works. So it seems like on some level, their laws are a lot different or something because he ain't in jail. He ain't in court all the time. That's for sure. Right. You get what I'm saying? Though? Well, maybe that's what Vought's for to write all that stuff off. Well, Vought, man, Vought, I'd hate to go to court and then some representative from Vought's in there 
Speaking on behalf of <laughs> well, that's what that's what, what they did to Huey. They supposedly caught me doing. Yeah, that's what they did to Huey when Robin died. We kind of saw just how they are. Well, that's because that was that, but they handled that civilly though. That was a civil issue at that point because there obviously wasn't a criminal investigation launched for some reason. Maybe just because a lot of because they're all in bed together. Yeah, so. but I see what you're saying though for sure. But that was like handled civilly like we didn't really see how they handled that criminally i think they didn't do that on purpose because it was open for interpretation right or they just never really handle things criminally they always handle them civilly because they get paid right yeah absolutely all right guys that was a fun episode of the boys man we'll be back with more uh like comment subscribe hit us up on patreon if you guys want the full uncut reaction and we'll be back with some more diabolical tv soon so <laughs> yeah <laughs>